you know, we just got started. We've only had a fifth day of practicing or fourth day of practicing, so it's a little tough right now. But an Afro basket is going to be really, really physical, so we got to be really disciplined, and we're looking forward to it. We're excited. Before, we were going in with the underdog attitude to make an upset, but now everybody's after us. We're the ones that everybody's going to give their best shot. We're going to get everybody's best basketball game. So we have to be disciplined, solid fundamentally, and ready to just shut down this whole thing. Make everybody know that they're only playing for second. What they did in 2015 is not lost on us. Some of these girls were there. They remember. We don't care who we play. We want to crush them. We want to leave no doubt. And hopefully we'll do like we said before. We shook up the world in, in Spain. Now we just want to rock Africa. Yeah, for the pressure, I would say there's no pressure. Uh, basketball is all about uh, winning or losing. Uh, but uh, with the kind of uh, player we have actually coupled this time, it's going to be a different ball game. Uh, even though we know that the world is looking at us. So that is why you find that uh, the technical ability has uh, we took it to another level to be able to see uh, the adjustment because uh, we don't want to stay on one kind of uh, uh, pattern of play. So with what we have so far, uh, we are just going to try as much as possible to maintain our, our, our winning, winning strength. As far as I'm concerned, this uh, African Championship, there's no group that is right over. Uh, yes, we, have, we are in the top group, no doubt about it, but, uh, and that is what championship is all about. So we are, going, we, are, we are still on the drawing board, trying to pump our, 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 our kind of play. We know what the Cameroon can do. We know what uh, the Tunisia can also, also do. So we are going to go there with full force and uh, be able to retain our, our title. All right, you're welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. And we're not four in the studio. That's because we have champions uh, in the building, Deep Tigers players. Captain, first of all, Adara Elonu, as well as uh, star forward, Evelyn Akato. It's great to have you in the studio, guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you see them around now, you can imagine we're about to talk about something really big. And it's all about getting ready uh, for the FIBA Afro basket. It's just around the corner. And um, you girls have been in town for a few days now, uh, getting ready. Uh, let's talk about preparations. Uh, what has it been like so far? So far, it's been uh, fast paced. You know, we only mm -hmm. have a few days to get ready, and we've only been here for a few days. Mm -hmm. So I think we're all pretty focused, and we know what tasks we have ahead of us in Senegal. So knowing that, we're, we're trying to move quickly but smartly. Quickly but smartly. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Evelyn, I mean, she just mentioned that you guys have not been. Uh, around for a long time. No, five days now, right? I mean, the training, yesterday was the fifth day. So how has it been for you guys? I mean, having, you have three new players in the team. You know, last time you had some home-based players, but right now you don't have them, everyone you know, from different parts of the world. You know, that hasn't been. Well, I just got here um, last night. And oh, hey. From her, because I've been talking to her and mm -hmm. as well as some other players, uh, they said it's been good. And the new players, they really played it very well. No. So I mean, we all are pros, you know, so at the end of the day, just come together and make things work. You know, the last time you were into the World Cup, the last championship was the World Cup and all that in Spain, you guys practically shocked the world because no one expected so much. But right now, this is Africa. You're African champions already. So the pressure will be on. Uh, let me come to the captain here. I mean, how are you girls actually taking this one, knowing that you're not just going there as unknown Nigerians, I mean, well-known champions? I think it, only time will tell how we'll take it, but we're getting constant <laughs> reminders, you know, that we're defending champions and we have to act that way yet. Since we're going to Senegal, you know, mm -hmm. it won't be a comfortable zone. Everyone is coming after mm -hmm. us. We have pressure, but for me, pressure can be exciting. You know, it can be something different. It can give us a different element, a higher intensity. So mm -hmm. I, think, I think we'll be just fine. Um, yeah, it won't be, you know, easy at all, but yeah. we're ready. Ready for the task. All right, interesting. And uh, you've already mentioned the fact that uh, you guys are well equipped uh, to deal with the pressure, any kind of pressure that comes. Uh, let's talk about the group now. We saw the draw was made, and everyone is saying that's a very easy group uh, because it's Tunisia and it's Cameroon, and everyone say, okay, that's straightforward wins uh, for Nigeria to get into the quarterfinals. Uh, are you seeing it that way as well? I mean, the fans are the ones feeling like, okay, easy. Are you, do, you feel, do you feel, I mean, taking on Tunisia or Cameroon, 
Do you consider them like really easy opponents? I mean, I don't really think any group is um, easy. easy because the more we practice, they stay practicing. You know, we don't know what to expect with them. Mm. I mean, we can only focus on our own team, you know, and try and see what we can adjust and get better mm. from two years ago or last year and then just keep improving. That's what we can focus on. But like every other team, you know, you know, in, in any sport at all, you don't, cannot underrate um, any team, you know, Absolutely. because they're they just going to come from behind and beat you. Uh, Bite your butt, you know, mm. so we can't underrate anybody. Mm. All we got to do is just keep working on ourselves. That's all we can do. Is there something different you girls are going to be doing? Because they already know you. I mean, they know you. You girls are always out there. You're in their face every day. I mean, what's, what's the, what, I mean, what's the, so what is the, uh, how do I put it now? What will be uh, different from your, what you guys did uh, in 2017? Mm. Uh, we can't reveal that. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, every, every stage is that. different. You know? every, I mean, as, like I said, mm. we all are pros. So yeah, every stage is different. Yeah. You know, we tend to um, improve every step of the way, you know, yeah. as we we'll go play overseas and they come back and uh, just think about, okay, what can I improve and what I need to adjust and all that. What about the synergy and the Knowing that, I mean, you've not been in camp for a while. It's starting next week and all that. Um, we I mean, last year we had to, we get the chance to, opportunity to practice with the coach for one week. Exactly. And then we yeah. went to the World Cup to show the world. So it that. really yeah. don't matter. Yeah. 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 So yeah. you're not worried that you've not had enough practice and all that. So no, we've been anything. working on our cardio. Yeah, we, no, yeah, no, we've been working on our cardio. But like Evan said earlier, we're, we're professionals. So yeah. um, as professionals, we, we know what to expect. We know mm -hmm. what we need to do to mm -hmm. make things work. And the coach is doing a good job of also, you know, getting us prepared, all the coaching staff. And... I think just hanging off the fact that we, we want one goal is one thing that we have to focus on as well. Really? Yeah, and it's all about retaining that title uh, in Senegal. And the last time out in the final was against Senegal. Uh, have you been monitoring the progress since then? Have you? Have you? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're um, a very good side, obviously. And I this time around, they'll be playing in front of their home fans, Senegal. Well, I mean, it's a different ball game, but I know of somebody in Senegal who has been giving me feedback. Mm. I mean, it's team mostly, most likely the same team. Just had it, just like us. We had in a little pieces to the puzzle. That's right. how they add in. Oh, okay. you know, but again, if if they score, they have to come defend us. You know. Mm. So that's all. We just gotta keep our effort and energy up. Mm. Interesting. I kind of love the level of confidence right yeah. here. I mean, what's behind this uh, confidence? Like we're gonna go there. I mean, beat everybody. Everyone has to come second. What's the secret behind this confidence that I'm actually seeing right now because it's affecting me? <laughs> I think one of these is trust. Yeah. No, we trust, trust each other. You need confidence to play. Mm. Okay. Otherwise, you just, you'll be out there taking space. Mm. And um, I think it's just something that is already in you. You have to be competitive. If not, right. then you can't really play for Nigeria. You can't, can't do sports. Yeah. yeah, in general. Um, we've talked about the new pieces to the team. Um, as a matter of fact, a few... Ladies are not a part of the team as well, again. Um, really comes to mind, Indidi uh, Madhu, uh, who was, you know, a very, very uh, instrumental uh, to last uh, the, the, the victory uh, at the championship two years ago. She's no longer a part of the team now, but she's now a coach. Uh, how would you, you know, uh, what, what would you say about our uh, absence uh, from the team right now? Is it a big hole that you guys are struggling to fill or you guys have just um, moved, moved on uh, as it is? I think... We have moved on, but having her as a coach is a great addition. Oh, yeah. um, we didn't have her for the World Cup, but we had other additions who filled that hole, um, Evelyn being one. one of them. Um, <laughs> okay. Yes, of course, <laughs> Evelyn being one. And we had you know, other additions as well. But losing her was, yeah, it was a big key because she was a veteran. But now that she's on the staff, she's still a part of the team, mm. and she's helping us you know, along a the lot. way. Yeah, I was going to ask that. I mean, what she's actually brought in, you know, how does it feel having your former teammate be an assistant coach Evelyn? Oh, uh, well, I mean, we had a relationship two years ago. Yeah. I get to talk to her, and I think we, and I've actually heard about her, you know, from Florida. She went to, so I think that IQ, basketball IQ, is really going to uh, be a part of the Nigerian basketball, and we need that, too, mm. you know. Um, so it's, it really don't matter, you know. She, she has that IQ of basketball, be the player or coach, you know. It's just about um, listening to her and learning Mm -hmm. what, yeah. so what's the relationship like? Is it this uh, player thing or coach thing? What's the relationship like? I think the 
a great luxury about being a professional is you can have both. Okay. And you can you know how to separate the two. Mm. So we can be friends, but I also know that she's my coach. Okay. So it's Coach Madhu. I mean, every once in a while it's like Ndidi, but it's okay. Coach Madhu. Excuse me, Coach Madhu, I'm sorry. Coach mm. Madhu, should I do this? Can I do this? Right. And you know, we move forward. So there's a line that you can't cross, but it's also, you know, she's my friend as well. Mm. Interesting. Um, let's go back to, uh, to your rivals now. Um, a couple of days ago, we had a basketball pundit in the house, and that was before the draw was done. I think it was very, very uh, affirmative that it's going to be Senegal. That's going to be your biggest rival uh, in, you know, at the Afro basket. Do you agree with that as well, or do you see any other team apart from Senegal posing uh, a big threat to you? I think to be smart, we have to see everyone as a rival. Mm -hmm. Yes, Senegal is a very tough Yeah, but the biggest The threats. biggest rival. Um, is it Senegal? I think that's fair to say, but also you don't want to overlook anyone. Yeah. We don't exactly know what yeah. the other teams are bringing. <clears throat> yeah, you know, yeah. so it's kind of an element of surprise. Yeah. I mean, um, three years ago, Mali hosted the team, but they ended up taking the third position. So you can't really underrate um, any team, mm. especially Mali, Angola, Kenya. Mm. Would like you can't really underrate any team, you know. So, I mean, anything can happen. That's why it's called tournament. Right. Like, big. There might be a big upset, you know. Mm. So it's just going there, expecting the unexpected and right. be prepared. So they're 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 ready regardless. Precisely. Or whoever. Because I'm looking at Cameroon. Remember what happened in 2015? I mean, you guys were like, right, in 2015, where Cameroon actually denied the Nigeria from winning that title. And Cameroon is in the group. Cameroon, mm -hmm. Tunisia, and of course, Nigeria. So how are you guys going to face Cameroon this time around? Yes, we have some returners who, you know, felt that heartbreak, mm -hmm. me being one. And mm -hmm. of course, every time I see Cameroon, I'm going to think that. <laughs> so maybe for me, it'll be like an extra incentive. Yeah, like, she's oh. really going to be upset. You know what? You guys didn't like it. You guys didn't like yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a nice so, 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 so that's going to be at the back of your mind every time you step on the court. Sure. Right. Sure. I wouldn't call it revenge, yeah. just, you know, what could have been. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, do you want to ask something no, else? I was going to ask Evelyn because, because, I mean, she talked about revenge and all that. I mean, what would be in your mind? I mean, is it going to be, I mean, the pain she's feeling, are you going to feel that same pain? You're just like, okay. Uh, <laughs> I didn't play. You I didn't play. play. I know that because you, like you watched the game. Yeah, Sorry, for, no. um... I mean, <laughs> no, it's, also, it's a different team okay. now, also. But don't worry, I'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yes. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But I mean, it's all about going out there to play. So yeah. that's the most important thing, you know. Yeah, not too bothered about history, right? About history, what yeah. happened in 2015? Yeah. No, it's not going to repeat itself. So. Obviously, still pain by that. Okay. Yeah, she pain. I mean, I felt. I mean, it because it's I, just I, like I, at the on. point I thought the, the referee was this a bit the umpire was a bit biased. Now, 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 still now, now, I, mean, I still feel the pain. Yeah, that's why I had a one in title two. Yeah, you gotta play against the rest. I can relate a little. Yeah, she was right there. I mean, yeah. Well, let's come back to the future, recent history. There's no way we're gonna have you ladies in here not talk about your exploits at the World Cup. I was remarkable, and um, a lot of fans, uh, they yeah. were in basketball fans, they couldn't believe what they were watching, because when the group came out, and it looked like a group of death, and everyone thought, what's going to happen here? But you guys defied all expectations, and you went to the quarterfinals. We haven't managed to bring you, because you all went to your different clubs after then, we didn't get the opportunity to bring you. But you, now that you're here now, let's talk about, let's relieve that experience, making that incredible run to the quarterfinals. I was... <laughs> it, for me, it was, it was really fun. Just the, the competition of it all. Yeah. Uh, being in that, on that stage you know, with my, my teammates, my friends. It was unreal. And I think we performed the way we knew how to perform. So in a way, it was a little surprising or taken aback to get the reaction from the public. And everyone really? else like, oh, you know, this is what the girls are doing. Because for us, it's something that we knew we could do. Mm. Uh, we didn't have any doubt in ourselves. We knew it would be tough. But... We knew what we were capable of. Wow. So it wasn't, you know, much of a shock. Oh, that was interesting because yeah. going into the World Cup, you remember yeah, I was the, the U.S. kid, yeah, right? I was and because so the, the, the talk, the talk <laughs> going into the World Cup was, you yeah, hadn't won a game at the World Cup before, you know. So we went from, I remember we did a few interviews and they said we're going to win a game, definitely. But no one thought you were going to go to the quarterfinals. I mean, did you think the same thing I like uh, Elona saying now? Yeah, I mean... That you um, thought you were actually going to go there and perform as well as you did. I mean, it's all started with um, our coaches. 
I mean, coach yeah, came yeah, yeah. and then taught us. He actually fit us with this mindset of who going there to win the championship. And wow. that was the mentality we went there with. And even the uh, competitors, they were surprised. Like, they were shocked because if I did, at first they disrespected us, you know. Okay. And then when we played Australia, we lost the game, but we actually showed that, you know what, we, we, we ain't there to just it's mess around and right. play. You know, we were there for something, and then we shook the world. Even Turkey wasn't ready for us, mm. you know. So, I mean... Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Can you just uh, kindly hold your thoughts now? We're going to go on a quick break. When we come back, I uh, will continue our discussions and I'll uh, continue our preview uh, for the FIBA Apple Basket. You're welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. Evelyn Akato has left us now and she's been replaced by Ifi Ibekwe, one of the new players that has been invited uh, to the D-Tigress. Uh, Cam, Ifi, Ibikwe, yeah. it's great to have you on the show. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, before you came on set, we were talking about uh, the new additions yeah. uh, to the team. You are one of them. Mm -hmm. How's it been so far for you I mean, integrating with these ladies? I mean, it's been great. I've actually played with a lot of these girls um, overseas um, right. or in college. So okay. I know their game. They know my game. So it hasn't been hard to transition to be with the team. Also, it was just easy. I mean, yeah, obviously, it's hard. Said. We're very You're competitive, here. you know, mm -hmm. it's in our blood. So <laughs> um, we go after every practice. So, I mean, we just give it our all. But, yeah, I think it's been, it's been okay these days to, you know, learn to play, get to know each other. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you had the news, I mean, when you got the, maybe a letter or an email or something, mm -hmm. you're going to play for the Nigerian national team. What was the feeling like? Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm always excited to play. Um, I mean... I don't know. <laughs> has, has it always been an, uh, like, uh, like a goal of yours to play for the D Tigress? Like, or was it something that just came out of the blues and you were like, oh, why not? Or yeah. did you actually look forward to playing for the team? No, I've always looked forward to playing. I was supposed to play years ago before, but um, situations didn't happen wow. and I couldn't. Okay. So I'm really glad that I'm here to Finally. do it now. Yeah. Yes, I'm very happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Finally, Finally here. Yeah, of course. I, I, should, I should be. Yeah, she said everything has been smooth, translation, no problems. Oh, do you uh, agree with her? Yes, I agree. She's practicing too. Yeah, there's always, um, you know, the points where you have to find where you can, you know, fit in. And yeah. like being a new addition, you have to like see. It takes maybe some time to adjust, but mm. you know, we're, we have that time now, and that's what we're going for. But as far as with the plays and the bonding with the team. Mm. Still going on with that, yeah. yeah. All right. It's going to be your first championship for Nigeria. And, uh, you know, yeah. just coming in. And it, if she makes the final roster. That's if you make the right? final roster. Because we'll, we have, like, yeah. the same players. We still have the same players it's right like the now. Players yeah. There's yeah. a possibility that you might just make it because I could see that you know, that confidence level is actually rubbing off on you so much. <laughs> so you're going to be playing with the champions. And knowing yeah. that the Kenny champions and all that, pressure sometimes coming and all. What are you going to be bringing into the team? Um, well, for me, I just want to bring a team atmosphere you know, be the glue that, you know, fill the hole for the people that aren't here or weren't here um, last season. So um, be talkative, you know, be a leader. Um, whatever they need me to do, I'm, I'm willing to do because, mm. I don't know, we have one goal and we all know the goal. So yeah. it's, it's, just, it's that simple. Bring the trophy home. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love that. And the coach, you know, have uh, three coaches. You have a coach, Peter, Otis, and of course, Maureen. I mean, Indeed, Indeed, yeah. 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 You're looking at Indeed like it's still hard to touch. Like, yeah, it's anyway. so hard. No, no. <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah. What's the relationship like? I mean, um, since I'm coming in, it's mm -hmm. been good. Everyone's been nice. Everyone's been talking to me. You know, coaching me, teaching me. Everyone has their own perspective of the game of basketball. So um, taking three different perspectives is amazing. Was there always basketball for you, or there was something else? I know some. In the U.S., I think there's this uh, statistics going around that uh, half of the youth, I mean, in the world that plays uh, football or wants to play soccer, actually women, and most mm -hmm. of them are in the U.S. It was always basketball for me. Always basketball. Always basketball. There was no other, if you're given any other option. No. There was just always basketball. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, let's come to you, Captain, uh, again. I mean, you said you have three new players, into it, so she's one of it and all that. So have you guys been able to like, just blend together and just act as if, I mean, it's still one team, nothing has changed? Yeah, there's um, actually four. So there's Ify, four, Victoria, okay. Palace, mm -hmm. and Tessie. Yes, I think that, oh, no, you're right. Tessie isn't, no, she was with us in camp the last season. Okay. So I think, um, yes, in the beginning, you know, we were trying to fill each other out. And I think we were getting... 
for us to stay age where we know each other a little bit more. And that came with, you know, practicing and competing against one another. But I would say that we're, you know, becoming, you know, a team. And it's at the right time because the tournament is just around the corner. Yeah. Yeah, before she came in, I mean, we're talking about the experience of the World Cup and other way. I mean, we talked about we're surprised on how you girls actually behave. So after how you girls perform, after everything, I mean, when you guys left Spain, what was the thing that you were able to take away from uh, Spain? Take away? Um, the experience, um, what we're capable of, what we could be capable of, and kind of just had an anxious feeling of wanting to, to play again and see how we can compete. In another competition and our focus now to make it to the Olympics and how we can mm. compete there and on a different stage a similar but much grander stage mm. so, will you say because the coach talked about I mean you girls actually went there to shock the world will you say you left the present in Spain I would say yes definitely something for them to remember mm -hmm. yeah. you, you, you watch the game, I was watching you all the games <laughs> yes I was and I was just like I knew it, it's in us. We have it in us. And it was just amazing to see that they did shock the world, that people know Nigeria is here and mm -hmm. we're going to be here. So it was amazing to see. I, you know, I really wish I was there. But, <laughs> you know, we have the uh, Afro basket soon. So I'm just, um, just a glad to be a part. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah. Okay, you said when you, before they went to the World Cup, I told her, Ben, said, look, I wasn't, I, I remember the coach actually saying, we we're going there to actually get something out of it, leave a mark out there. I checked the group of like, okay, how are they going to do this? I was afraid. It was after the first game, I saw the performance and all that. Okay, fine. Maybe they can actually leave a mark. Before the World Cup, do you, I mean, did you think that Nigeria could have? Yes, I did. Why, Why that? Because I just think that we're underdogs sometimes, and I don't okay. think that that's okay because you just ignore that we're talented, that, you know, we have the IQ of basketball, and that we can play at the, t the top level. And for them to do that in Spain, I was just like, yes, finally, let's go, let's get it. <laughs> so I was excited for them. So it was good to see. Yeah, I was still actually uh, building on that now, Tayo. I mean, building mm -hmm. on performance from Spain and going into yeah, Senegal. Yeah, because that was the last major championship mm -hmm. and they did so well. Yeah. And a lot of Nigerians have very high expectations now uh, going into the FIBA Afro Baskets. Uh, you'll be opening your title defense against Tunisia. Um, what are you promising, promise the Nigerians? I mean, yeah. uh, they, they want to hear something from you as regards that opening match against Tunisia. I can promise the same that we'll fight. We'll give a lot of effort. We'll show our identity that we showed in the World Cup. There's no different. No matter who our opponent is, we'll still compete. Mm. You know, we'll show who we are as the D Tigers. Yeah, compete and get the win, obviously, yeah. right? Yes, of course. <laughs> yes. no, I feel the same. I've been here, what, six days now? Yeah. And just the the fight in us, it's like, it's not going anywhere. We're here mm -hmm. to compete and we're here to, to leave our mark. So, yeah. Leaving that mark. I, I love that because mm -hmm. uh, we can still actually, you know, feel that energy from Spain and all that. Mm -hmm. We know 2017 is a while back. Some players have left. We have new ones coming and all that. I know everybody. It's still the bulk, though. Still the bulk yeah. of the players. Mm -hmm. Still here. And, of course, the coach that went with you guys uh, to Spain, he's also here. You have new addition in the, the, that we talked about earlier. Now, looking at all this, I mean, the promise we're going to be having is bringing the trophy home, right? Hmm? That is the goal. That That's is the, the goal. number one. <laughs> yes. That's, that is the objective. But we know there's going to be a lot of hurdles maybe before you mm -hmm. get there. We talked about Senegal earlier. We talked about Cameroon, the revenge mission that was definitely on most of you minds. You know, they see how, they, how you can beat them silly anyway. <laughs> to, you know, kind of, how do I put it now, kind of payback time, you know, for them in Senegal. You have Tunisia, you mentioned Tunisia. Of course, after that group phase, it's also going to be other countries also. Yes. I guess we're going to approach that. The same way we approach the, the group. Whoever we, we're playing, we're going to be together, we're going to stay together, and we're just going to give our all and compete. Our goal is to bring the trophy home. That yeah, is the main yeah. goal. And if we go in with that mindset, then we're going to come out on top. All right. That's it. Um, that's the end of it. It's great to have you, uh, you ladies uh, um, in the studio to talk about this. Uh, wishing you all the best. Thank Hopefully you. go to Senegal. And return as champions again. Yes. Thank, thank you very you. much, thank Adara. You. Thank you very much, thank Ify you. as well. So hopefully you make the roster as well. <laughs> All right, then. That's the end of the show. Now, Cecilia, we have to go. Absolutely. Right. Thank you for watching. I'm Taya Salam. And I'm Cecilia Mongwe. Have a wonderful day.